Hey guys, my name is Matimio, and today I am taking up the challenge to only slay my enemies with the pistols in the Battlefield 4 beta. And going into the beta itself, I had a lot of cool ideas for this video series. I was going to unlock the 40 times scope on the bolt action rifle, I was going to run around with that, I was going to use all these awesome gadgets that we've seen in the previews and all the different trailers, uh, but DICE kind of decided to pull a fast one on us and didn't really give us a whole lot of options to use. All the weapons, at least that I've used so far, are fast. Fantastic! It doesn't really matter what attachment combination you use on them, they're pretty much all amazing, and all the gadgets are very fun to use as well. And so I wasn't exactly sure if I was even going to be able to bring you guys this video series for the beta. Uh, but then I tried using the pistols, and while they are a lot of fun to use, they are no match for the primary weapons in this game. And I don't know if it was because of the netcode, I don't know if it was because of the lag, uh, but trying to get gameplay and to try to go on some kill streaks with just these alone was not an easy task. And so throughout today's video, I'm going to be using both of the pistols that are available to us, which is the M9, which we had back in the previous game, and the P229. I'm not exactly sure what the damage model is for both of these weapons, but I want to say it's very similar to how it worked back in Battlefield 3. At least that's kind of how it felt, where it does 25 damage up close, and then at long range, it does so or it does so little damage that there's literally no reason for you to even want to attempt to try to take people out at those distances. And believe me, I did try, and every single time I did try to take someone out, I basically got a thousand hit markers, I let them know my exact location, and then they proceeded to blast my face full of virtual, virtual bullets. It wasn't a very pleasant experience. Uh, as for the rounds per minute, and just how they overall felt, once again, it just feels very similar to how it worked in the previous game. So I want to say that they didn't really do a whole lot uh, to revamp the, the pistol mechanics for Battlefield 4. Uh, but as for actually trying to complete this challenge, I mainly stuck with the domination game mode. I did initially attempt to try to get some gameplay on the Conquest large version of Siege of Shanghai, but that map is just so gigantic that even when I would get like one or two kills here and there, eventually I would run into someone who was at a distance, and like I said, pistols are not meant for long range encounters, and so while I was attempting to throw rocks at my enemy, they would eventually realize that I'm trying to take them out, turn around, and then just kill me. Like, I just didn't really have a whole lot of success on the Conquest Large version of Siege of Shanghai. Uh, but the Domination version of it was kind of a different story, and where I had the most success in the, the, my favorite building to run around in was the C building. And what I like about it so much is that there are a lot of nooks and crannies and a lot of different floor levels that I could take advantage of uh, to not only just catch my enemy by surprise, but also just to flank them as often as I possibly could. Uh, as I said, going toe to toe with someone who is using a primary weapon and all I have is a secondary weapon, I'm not going to last very long in a fair fight and so whenever I could flank my enemy and catch them by surprise I was gonna do that and what was great about that C building is that because there were so many nooks and crannies and because there were so many different uh, level changes is that I could pop out of a corner real fast I could kind of flank around them I could kind of kind of drop down from the second story and catch them by surprise and get a nice flank off on one or two of my enemies and when I did that that's when I actually started to get these these awesome gameplay clips and that's when I had the most success uh, but as for the classic that I ran around with, I mainly just stuck with Recon and the Assault. Uh, the Assault, I felt like that was a solid choice because I needed health and if I got into a firefight with someone, I was gonna need that health back as quickly as possible. I just needed every single advantage that I possibly could. And so the Assault is, is where I got most of my gameplay. Uh, but I also tried out the Recon a lot where I unlocked the, the motion sensors or the motion balls. And those also helped out a lot. Like there are so many times when I would toss around like just a couple of those sensors over the map and people just light up like a Christmas tree on the minimap like it is fantastic and while it can be a little disorienting because the map does have so many levels or at least the C, the C building does so it can kind of be hard to tell if they're on the rooftop or if they are on the on the ground level just having the motion sensor in general uh, makes it so much easier for you to flank your enemies and as I said that is a very key component to trying to complete this challenge uh, but overall I had a lot of fun with pistols only and while it wasn't easy by 
any means. It was just kind of nice to see how they're going to be performing when the game launches. Uh, so if you guys have any challenges that you would like me to try next, uh, let me know down below in the comment section. I, I'm not exactly sure if there's anything I can really do for the beta, uh, but if you guys have anything creative that I've just kind of overlooked, let me know down below. Uh, but that is about it for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and so until tomorrow, have a good one, and take it easy. Thank you